Todoist allows you to email tasks directly into a project list. Since every project list has a unique email handle, here's a trick for you to automatically add newsletters to your reading list. Step one, create a project named reading list. Step two, right click on the project. Then select email tasks to this project. Step four is to copy the email address you see. Then open your email clients and I will use Gmail as an example here. For step six, navigate to your email forwarding settings. In Gmail, this is called forwarding and pop slash IMAP. Then press add a forwarding address. Paste the Todoist project email address you copied in step three in the to field. If Gmail doesn't accept it, make sure to only paste the address between the brackets. Sometimes Todoist gives you a weird non-functioning address that won't work here. So only the ones between the triangle shaped brackets. Step nine is to open the Todoist project you selected and find the tasks which should include forwarding confirmation in the title. Then follow the instructions in that email to verify Todoist as a valid forwarding address. Back to Gmail, go back to forwarding and pop slash IMAP to select the option to create a filter. Find the sender address for your favorite newsletter and add it to the from field. Step 13 is to Press create filter. And lastly, under forward it to, select the Todoist address you just verified. You can also choose to mark the email as read and archive it automatically from here, effectively skipping the inbox. A couple of notes here. First of all, it does not work for emails you've already received. Secondly, it needs to be done with care. You don't want your Todoist account to be filled up with useless clutter after all. Make sure you only allow email addresses to forward emails into Todoist that you actually trust. An alternative, more manual way of doing this, which allows you to keep a bit more control, is to add one of those project list email addresses to your favorite contexts and then forward emails into there manually. And of course, this reading list trick is just an example. You could apply this same method for various other use cases that involve email. And I'm excited to hear from you guys what you can come up with 